coming back to the podcast on your definition of an osteopath and maybe how does that differentiate from a chiropractor? Well, it depends where you train. Like um, if you train in the US, like an osteopath is known as like an osteopathic physician. So they would have like a medical doctor status. So for me, I couldn't be an osteopath in the US because I haven't, I've done a medical degree, but not like a doctor medical degree. So it's, it's very different way you train. But in the UK, you know, chiropractic and osteopathy, they follow a similar line in some respects, but then they deviate a lot in others. Like a chiropractor, because uh, I train lots of them and I know lots of them, so I have uh, many friends. So the main philosophy will be that typically, if you think, look at the spinal column and say the pelvis, then everything typically will relate to the nervous system. So if you have like a knee pain, then more than likely my friend might not directly look at the knee in itself. He might consider or she might consider there's a problem with the, the neural pathway to that knee. So they might look at, say, the femoral nerve, which has come from, say, L234. So they might look at your lower back. So they might do an adjustment mm -hmm. of the lower back to affect the nerve or the position of the vertebra. So let's say they, they use a word like a luxation. So if you have a vertebra, that's well, luxation is a, it's an awkward word sometimes because it naturally means a dislocation. Mm -hmm. Okay, so if you've got like a, a fully lux luxated shoulder, it's a dislocated. Um, <clears throat> so if there's a, a rotation within the vertebra, then the neural pathway will be affected. So they will do an adjustment to ah, the vertebra okay. to affect the pathway of that nerve to that area. So if you've got, say, pain in the calf, they might not say, oh, it's a calf problem. They might look at, say, the S1 nerve, which is between, say, L5 and S1. That's Well, it's not directly there. There's, um, because the L5 nerve comes out, <coughs> and then the S1 nerve um, is like traverses. So that disc, per se, will affect the L5 nerve coming out and the S1 nerve coming down. So it affects both of them, potentially. So they would look at that area if you have, say, like weakness in the foot. Yeah, or, but also, the, the treatment tends to be a, a bit shorter. Some treatments are purely manipulative biased. Not always, okay, don't get me wrong. You know, some chiropractors do some soft tissue work, but the majority yeah, will mainly perform um, like an adjustment technique for the spine. So the treatments tend to be, you know, within 5 to 10 to 15 minutes, maybe a bit longer depending on who you see. Whereas an osteopath can do similar techniques. So if you watched an osteopath manipulate a neck, mm -hmm. then you wouldn't know if it was a and an osteopathic manipulation or a chiropractic manipulation or even a physiotherapy. So the technique are very similar, uh, but the osteopath is able, if you like, to do a bit more soft tissue work. They might spend a bit more on um, examination of, of areas like hip assessments, shoulder assessments. The chiropractor can do the same, uh, but they might not spend so long doing that side of things because they naturally think a problem in the shoulder, they might test a weakness. So if you lift the arm and is weak, they're not going to say it's a problem with the shoulder in itself. They will think it might be a C5 problem in your neck that's innovating the motion of the shoulder. Okay, so they don't look at the shoulder as such. They might look at the neck. Whereas the osteopath might say, well, we will look at the shoulder as well to make sure that biomechanically it's moving. And then we can also look at the neck and we can also do an adjustment. So treatment tends to be 45 minutes for the first one and 30 minutes to follow on. Mm. So the osteopath will say do 10 to 20 a day where some chiropractors can maybe do 30 to 50 patients a day. If you enjoyed this content, we're doing five clips like this a week. If you want to watch the full podcast, click here.